So Biggie's murder wasn't no drive-by, says Diddy's ex-bodyguard. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So Diddy's former bodyguard has shed new light on the notorious B.I.G.'s death, claiming his March 1997 murder wasn't a drive-by shooting. Gene Deal, who was part of Puff's security detail in the 90s, opened up about the night Biggie was killed in an interview with The Art of Dialogue, and expressed his frustration at how the events leading to his death are portrayed in movies and documentaries. Contrary to popular opinion, Deal insisted that the Brooklyn rapper's untimely demise technically wasn't the result of a drive-by as he believes the killer, who has yet to be identified by police, was already lurking in wait prior to pulling the trigger. It just hurt because they lie too much, man. It be a lot of that shit be lies the way they put it together because they listening to these white boys who wasn't even there. How the hell a white, how, and, and, and I don't want to make this racial, but they take these white boys who wasn't even there and want to use the story that they want to tell, which is not the truth. Wasn't no drive-by. Car was standing there at the corner. We talk about this shit all the time, bruh. The stories they tell is not truthful. And now people are sitting here believing. Every, every Biggie movie that you've seen, they say it's a drive-by. When the witness tell you the car was stood right there at the corner, the car was probably there all night. Gene Deal also recalled rushing to Biggie's aid after his GMC Suburban had been shot up by the driver of a black Chevy Impala, which had pulled up alongside it at a red light near the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, where the bad boy hitmaker had attended a Soul Train Awards after party. Deal held back tears while reflecting on that tragic night, admitting Biggie's death still haunts him to this day. I saw this kid lose his life. This kid died while I was pulling him out the car. He had died, man. That's why I, I told my life story in my book. That's why I told what I seen and what I felt that night in the book. And the second one, the second one is a tearjerker and it's crazy because I'm telling all the stories in it. So, to answer your question, you have your good days, you got your bad days, bro. You was there when one, the, arguably the world's greatest rapper was murdered. I wouldn't put nobody in my shoes because I don't feel like they could handle it. If I didn't have God in my life, I didn't have people praying for me, I don't know if I could handle. But what do you think about what Gene Dill had to say about Biggie? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to tipoptx.com.